welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering effects. You can apply effects to layers and objects to change or adjust their appearance. This can be very helpful when you're working to improve your appearance or the aesthetics of your design. Let's start with shadows. There are two types of shadows which can be used in Figma. The first one is called a drop shadow and the second one is called the inner shadow. A drop shadow is an effect that casts a shadow below the layer or object to which it is applied on. Drop shadows are used to give the impression that the object is raised or is floating above the background behind it. And most times it's used for buttons, menus within your design. The shadow can be customized to your exact liking by specifying its offset, blur size, softness, color, and blend mode. In this first example, we have a button, which by itself looks very good, but we can call more attention to it by adding a drop shadow. We'll start by clicking on the shape layer itself. Glancing over at the properties panel, we see a section called effects. Clicking on the plus, Figma by default applies a drop shadow to our selected object. We can then click on the style icon to customize our shadow, or we can click on the visibility icon to hide or to show our shadow. To have the shadow better match the style of the button, we click on the style icon over here. To customize our shadow a bit more. Here we see a total of five controls that we can use to modify our shadow. Editing the shadow's blur increases or decreases the size of the shadow. Let's set this to 15. Adjusting the value of our X axis allows us to adjust the shadow in its horizontal axis. Likewise, adjusting the Y position allows us to adjust the shadow on the vertical axis. Let's keep the X value at zero, but let's increase the Y value to seven. Instead of using the default shadow color, which is black, we can use the eyedropper tool within the color selector and we can select the color of the button itself. And finally, the last field allows us to edit the opacity of our shadow. Let's bump this down to 50%. Let's see what happens. Here's what that looks like. Adding a drop shadow to our button really helped us stand out a bit more. As we can see by toggling the shadow visibility icon off and on. Okay, sorry, that's the fill. If we toggle the effects off and on, we can see just how much that does for the button. It really does make it look good. It makes it stand out to us that are using it. The second one is the inner shadow. It gives an appearance of depth. It gives the button depth. And let's see how that happens. Once again, we click on our shape layer, click on the plus, and then we get our shadow. And finally, we select the inner shadow from the list. The inner shadows share all the controls that a drop shadow has. You can adjust everything, the blur, x-axis, y-axis, the color, and the opacity. And it can be changed exactly the same way. Let's set this blur to 10, and let's set the y this time to 6 to bring the blur into the shadow. And let's make the color its default setting. Let's make it black. There. We can see that it applies that depth that the button we're really looking for. So by watching this video, you should be able to adjust your blur size. You can adjust your you can adjust your x axis, your y axis, your color, and your opacity. And you can do this for both the drop shadow and for your inner shadow. Thanks for watching.